Hey girls and boys, it's Mr. McAndrew. And so how was that video? Was it helpful? Right? Um, I'm really wanting you to see that there's different ways that you can show numbers. Okay. And um, the math app that I was using in that last video um, is pretty cool. And I put a, I'm going to, I put a link into the slides for you. Um, so right now we're going to do a little bit of practice with that. It's really important to practice it. Um, first of all, you're going to have some work to do on it tomorrow for practice, but um, it really helps your brain to understand and grow when you try it out yourself. But I'm not going to just, you know, have you do it on your own. We'll, we'll work on it together, okay? So what I would like you to do, um, and this won't be a long video, but we'll, we'll do it for a few minutes, is take out this piece of paper. It says show blank three ways, okay? And blank is we're going to put a number in there, okay? So I'll put in the number, I don't know, like um, I'll find, I'll think of a number and put it in your dry erase sleeve so that you can write on it with your marker um, and then we can erase it. All right. So marker, eraser and paper, that's all you need right now. And that'll be it for today. So grab those materials and once you have those, come back to the video. Um, so stop the video, get what you need and then come back. All right, you should be all ready to go. So I'm going to give you, um, let's try the number 65. Okay, we'll do the first one together. Then I'll give you one or two to try on your own, and we'll see how you do. Okay, so one way um, to show, actually, why don't you try and show 65 in one way? I think you can all do that. All right, so do that now. So um, I almost need like a little hand signal. So stop the video and do your work. And then when you're done, come on back, okay? So do that now. All right, so you should have um, already done that. So let's take a look at what that looks like, okay? So one way we know to, to show this number is we could do six tens, right? So we could have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. If we're thinking of Starburst or let's say Skittles this time, right? We have um, six bags of Skittles and in each bag, there's 10 Skittles. Okay, so this line, this just this line represents a bag of 10 Skittles. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So we have 60, you could say we have 65. So that's one way we could show it, right? Now, another way we could show it is what? What could we do? Would we just learn from the video from me? We could take one of these bags, right? And we could like open it up and pour out the Skittles, right? So if we did that, we would then only have five bags. One, two, three, four, five. So that gives us 50. And over here, we'd still have our five that we started with. But if we poured out that bag that was here, it was here, right? And then we're going to dump it out over here. One, two, three, four, five. So we're adding 10, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So we just poured out that bag over here. And now we have, instead of just five Skittles over here, we have 15. So we still have 65, right? 65, 60 and five is the same as 50 and 15. What's one more way you could do it? Try it out, okay? Stop the video, all right? Do your work and then come on back when you have something you think you wanna, you wanna check out, all right? So do that now, please. All right, boys and girls, did you find another way? If not, try it now. Okay, here's one other way that you might have done it. Um, you could have, uh, instead of five bags, you could have four bags. One, two, three, four. Right? And take another bag and empty it out. Now we have a lot of Skittles, loose Skittles, right? We have 40 in bags, and now we still have the five we started with, and we have these 10 from the bag that we emptied out from one of the bags we emptied out. 
And then there's another 10 from ba the bag we emptied out. Which gives us 10, 25. Wow. So that's a lot. But it's still 65 Skittles, right? We have 25 just loose Skittles. Woo, loose Skittles, maybe like, you know. And then over here, we have four bags of Skittles. Okay? So this is called decomposing numbers by place value. Yeah, fancy name for a pretty simple concept, right? And the reason we need to know how to do this, boys and girls, as you've been seeing, is sometimes, right? If I had, for example, the number, if I had 65, and I was trying to subtract, um, let's say, 9, right? I wouldn't have, if I was trying to take 9 away from here, I wouldn't have enough Skittles to take away. I'd have to open up one of the bags and turn it into 5 tens or 50 and 15 ones. Okay? All right, I'm going to give you one more to try, and I'll give you some answers at the end of it. If you don't try it, your brain's, it's just not going to grow as much. Okay? So it's up to you. Um, let's do the number, I don't know, 24. Okay? 24. So erase what you have and see if you can show 24 in three different ways. All right, good luck. I'll see you in a little bit. Stop the video, do your work, and then come back. All right, so how we do? Did everyone get at least this way, right? So just two tens and four ones, right? That's what that number means, two tens and four ones. But it doesn't mean we can't take some of those, one of those bags and pour them out, right? So we could just have one bag and we have four, let's say, M&Ms. Ooh, let's do M&Ms this time. And so we have a bag of M&Ms. It's got 10 in it, so that's 10. And we did have, we used to have two bags with four loose M&Ms, but we could take this bag and pour it out. And if we pour them out, we pour out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so we no longer have this one. That bag is gone. The M&Ms are out of the bag. So now we have 10 and, let's see, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 24 could be two tens and four ones, or it could be one ten or 10 and 14 ones, right? Is there a third way? Well, sure there is. We could have just emptied out this bag as well. So there's zero tens, there's no bags, no tens, and all of the M&Ms are out. So we have the four that we started with, and then we have our first bag. There's 10 of them. And then our second bag of 10. So now we have 10, 24. So we could have 24, it could be zero tens and 24 ones. Okay? All right, so I hope you get the idea of this. This is, this is designed to really help you with subtraction. Okay? Because once again, if I had the number... I'm going to erase this real quick. If I had the number 24, okay, so I've got 24 right here. I've got 24 M&Ms, all right, and I want to give my friend, um, let's say, we're going to split them, so I'm going to give him, um, I'm not going to split them, but I'm going to give him a bunch. I want to give him um, eight, uh, 18, all right? I'm sick of M&Ms. I've eaten so many. I've eaten so many Starbursts and Skittles. I can't eat very many more M&Ms. Okay, so from I'm, I'm subtracting 18, right, you can see if I have two bags of M&Ms and four loose M&Ms, I can't give him eight M&Ms, right? I can't give him, certainly can't, I could give him 10, I could give, I could give him one of these bags, but I can't give him eight loose ones without opening up one of these bags. So I'd open it up, right? Pour it over here, and now I have enough M&Ms to give him the eight. Okay, we'll keep working on that. But for now, um, the work is to show numbers in three different ways so you get really good at that. Okay, boys and girls, good job. Be good, be kind, be safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.